Bless, Master. <coughs> Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O our God. Glory to thee, O heavenly King, O Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who is everywhere present and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life. Come and abide in us, cleanse us from every stain, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy, God, holy, holy mighty, holy, holy immortal, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship and fall down before God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. O come, let us worship and fall down before the very Christ our King and our God. May the Lord hear thee in the day of tribulation. May the name of the God of Jacob protect thee. May he send thee help from the sanctuary and defend thee out of Zion. May he be mindful of all thy sacrifices, and may thy whole burnt offering be made, be made fat. May he give thee according to thine own heart and confirm all thy counsels. We will rejoice in thy salvation, and in the name of our God we shall be exalted. The Lord fulfill all thy petitions. Now have I known that the Lord hath saved his anointed. He will hear him from his holy heaven. The salvation of his right hand is in his in powers. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will call upon the name of the Lord our God. They are bound and have fallen, but we are risen and are set upright. O Lord, save the king and hear us in the day that we shall call upon thee. In thy strength, O Lord, the king shall joy, and in thy salvation he shall rejoice exceedingly. Thou hast given him his heart's desire, and hast not withholden from him the will of his lips. For thou hast prevented him with blessings of sweetness. Thou hast set on his head a crown of precious stones. He asked life of thee, and thou, gavest, thou hast given him length of days forever and ever. His glory is great in thy salvation. Glory and great beauty shall thou lay upon him. For thou shalt give him to be a blessing forever and ever. Thou shalt make him joyful in gladness with thy countenance. For the king hopeth in the Lord, and through the mercy of the Most High, he shall not be moved. Let thy right hand be found by all thy enemies. Let thy right hand find out all them that hate thee. Thou shalt make them as an oven of fire. In the time of thy anger, the Lord shall trouble them in his wrath, and fire shall devour them. Their fruit shalt thou destroy from the earth, and their seed from among the children of men. For they have intended evils against thee. They have devised counsels which they have not been able to establish. For thou shalt make them turn their back. In thy remnant thou shalt prepare their face. Be thou exalted, O Lord, in thine own strength. We will sing and praise thy power. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. 
O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance, granting to thy people victory over all their adversaries, and by thy cross preserving thine estate. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Do thou who of thine own good will was lifted up upon the cross. O Christ our God, bestow thy bounties upon the new nation which is called by thy name. Make glad in thy might those who lawfully govern, that with them we may be led to victory over our adversaries, having in thine aid a weapon of peace and a trophy invincible, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O champion dread who cannot be put to confusion, despise not our petitions, O good and all praise they, O Tokos. Establish the way of the Orthodox, save those who have been called upon to govern us, <coughs> leading us all to that victory which is from heaven. For thou art she who gave us birth to God and alone art blessed. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great goodness, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for our Father and Metropolitan Joseph and all our brotherhood in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For thou art a merciful God, and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Bless Father in the name of the Lord. Glory to the holy, consubstantial, life-giving, and undivided Trinity always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill toward men. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. O Lord, why are they multiplied that afflict me? Many rise up against me. Many say unto my soul, there is no salvation for him and his God. But thou, O Lord, art my helper, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy mountain. I laid me down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all who without cause are mine enemies. The teeth of sinners hast thou broken. Salvation is of the Lord, and thy blessing is upon thy people. I laid me down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, nor chasten me in thy wrath. For thine arrows are fastened in me, and thou hast laid thy hand heavily upon me. There is no healing in my flesh in the face of thy wrath, and there is no peace in my bones in the face of my sins. For mine iniquities are risen higher than my head, as a heavy burden have they pressed heavily upon me. My bruises are become noisome and corrupt in the face of my folly. I have been wretched and utterly bowed down unto the end. All the day long I went with downcast face. For my loins are filled with mocking, and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and humbled exceedingly. I have roared from the groaning of my heart. O Lord, before thee is all my desire. My groaning is not hid from thee. My heart is troubled, my strength hath failed me, and the light of mine eyes, even this is not with me. My friends and my neighbors drew nigh over against me and stood, and my nearest of kin stood afar off. 
And they that sought after my soul used violence, and they that sought evils for me spake vain things. And craftiness all the day long did they meditate. But as for me, like a deaf man, I heard them not, and was as a speechless man that openeth not his mouth. And I became as a man that heareth not, and that hath in his mouth no reproofs. For in thee have I hoped, O Lord, thou wilt hearken unto me, O Lord my God. For I said, Let never mine enemies rejoice over me. Yea, when my feet were shaken, those men spake boastful words against me. For I am ready for scourges, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare mine iniquity, and I will take heed concerning my sin. But mine enemies live, and are made stronger than I, and they that hated me unjustly are multiplied. They that render me evil for good slandered me, because I pursued goodness. Forsake me not, O Lord, my God, depart not from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord, of my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord, my God, depart not from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord, of my salvation. O God, my God, unto thee I rise early at dawn. My soul hath thirsted for thee. How often hath my flesh longed after thee in a land barren and untrodden and unwatered. So in the sanctuary have I appeared before thee to see thy power and thy glory. For thy mercy is better than lives, my lips shall praise thee. So shall I bless thee in my life, and in thy name will I lift up my hands. As with marrow and fatness let my soul be filled, and with lips rejoicing shall my mouth praise thee. If I remembered thee on my bed at the dawn, I meditated on thee. For thou art become my helper, in the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved after thee, thy right hand hath been quick to help me. But as for these in vain have they sought after my soul, they shall go into the nethermost parts of the earth, they shall be surrendered unto the edge of the sword. Portions for foxes shall they be. But the king shall be glad in God, every one shall be praised that sweareth by him, for the mouth of them is stopped that speak unjust things. At the dawn I meditated on thee, for thou art become my helper, in the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved after thee, thy right hand hath been quick to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, God of my salvation, by day I have cried, and by night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, bow down thine ear unto my supplication. For filled with evils is my soul, and my life unto Hades hath thrown nigh. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I have become as a man without help, free among the dead. Like the bodies of the slain that sleep in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. They laid me in the lowest pit, and darkness in the shadow of death. Against me is thine anger made strong, and all thy billows hast thou brought upon me. Thou hast removed my friends afar from me, they have made me an abomination unto themselves. I have been delivered up, and have not come forth, mine eyes have grown weak from poverty. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, the whole day long, I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Nay, for the dead wilt thou work wonders, or shall physicians raise them up, that they may give thanks unto thee? Nay, shall any of the grave tell of thy mercy and of thy truth in that destruction? Nay, shall thy wonders be known in that darkness, and thy righteousness in that land that is forgotten? But as for me unto thee, O Lord, have I cried, in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Wherefore, O Lord, dost thou cast off my soul, and turneth thy face away from me? A poor man am I, and in troubles from my youth, yea, having been exalted, I was humbled and brought to distress. Thy furies have passed upon me, thy terrors have sorely troubled me. They came me around about like water, all the day long they compassed me about together. Thou hast removed afar from me, friend and neighbor, and mine acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord God of my salvation, by day I have cried and by night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, bow down thine ear to my supplication. Bless the Lord, O my soul, all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all that he hath done for thee, who is gracious unto all thine iniquities, who healeth all thine infirmities, who redeemeth thy life from corruption, who crowneth thee with mercy and compassion, who fulfilleth thy desire with good things, thy youth shall be renewed as the evils. The Lord performeth deeds of mercy and executeth judgment for all them that are wronged. He hath made his ways known unto Moses, the sons of Israel, the things that he hath willed. Compassionate and merciful is the Lord, long suffering and plenteous in mercy. Not unto the end will he be angered, neither unto eternity will he be wrought. Not according to our iniquities hath he dealt with us, neither according to our sins hath he rewarded us. For according to the height of heaven from the earth, the Lord has made us mercy to prevail over them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our iniquities from us. Like as the Father hath compassion upon his sons, so hath the Lord had compassion upon them that fear him. For he knoweth whereof we are made, he hath remembered that we are dust. As for man, his days are as the grass, as a flower of the field, so shall he blossom forth. 
For when the wind has passed over it, then it shall be gone, and no longer will it know its place thereof. But the mercy of the Lord is from eternity, even unto eternity, upon them that fear him. And his righteousness is upon sons of sons, upon them that keep his testament, and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord in heaven hath prepared his throne, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, mighty in strength, that perform his word, to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord, all you his works, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In every place of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer, give ear to my supplication and thy truth, hearken unto me in thy righteousness. And enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath humbled my life down to the earth, he hath sat me in darkness as those that have long been dead. And my spirit within me has become despondent, within me my heart is troubled. I remember days of old, I meditated on all thy works, I pondered on the creation of thy hands. I stretch forth my hands unto thee, my soul thirsteth after thee like a waterless land. Quickly hear me, O Lord, my spirit hath fainted away. Turn not thy face away from me, lest it be like them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for in thee have I put my hope. Cause me to know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for unto thee have I lifted up my soul. Rescue me from my enemies, O Lord, and to thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. For thy name's sake, O Lord, shalt thou quicken me. In thy righteousness, righteousness shalt thou bring my soul out of affliction. And in thy mercy shalt thou utterly destroy my enemies. And thou shalt cut off all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. O Lord, give ear to my supplication, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. O Lord, give ear to my supplication, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of a brightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit both now and ever, and unto you ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. O our God and our hope, glory to thee. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord have for the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter with faith, Reverence and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Father and Metropolitan Joseph, the venerable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For Metropolitan Paul, Archbishop John, for their quick release from captivity, and safe return, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the President of the United States and all civil authorities and for armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city, for every city and land, and for the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For healthful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by sea, by land, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, and especially for those suffering for the faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and need, help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. To thee, o Lord. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
now and ever and unto ages of ages. ye that dwell upon the earth. Alleluia. Alleluia. upon and on top people, and now fire shall devour the adversaries. <clears throat> upon those who are glorious upon the earth. Just 
Amen. <clears throat> While the glorified disciples being illuminated at the evening washing, Judas of evil worship was stricken and darkened with the love of the silver. And unto lawless judges, O righteous judge, he delivered and surrendered thee. Wherefore, O lover of wealth, behold him who for its sake did hang himself, and flee thou from that greedy soul, which ventured thus far against the master. O thou whose goodness pervadeth all, glory to thee, O Lord. And that he may be accounted worthy to hear the holy gospel, let us pray to the Lord God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. The Lord said to his disciples, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and in him God is glorified. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and glorify him at once. Little children, Yet a little while I am with you. You will seek me, and as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another even as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this, all men will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Simon Peter said to Jesus, Lord, where are you going? Jesus answered, where I am going, you cannot follow me now but you shall follow afterward. Peter said to him, Lord, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for your sake. Jesus answered, will you lay down your life for my sake? Truly, truly, I say to you, the cock will not crow till you have denied me three times. Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you. And when I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, that where I am you may be also, and where I am going you know, and the way you know. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. If you had known me, you would have known my father also. Henceforth, you know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the father and we shall be satisfied. Jesus said to him, have I been with you so long and yet you do not know me, Philip. He who has seen me has seen the father. How can you say, show us the father? Do you not believe that I am in the father and the father in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the father who dwells in me does the works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the sake of the works themselves. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and greater works than these will he do, because I go to my Father. Whatever you ask in my name, I will do it, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he will give you another counselor to be with you forever, even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you desolate. 
I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world will see me no more. But you will see me. Because I live, you will live also. In that day you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. He who has my commandments and keeps them, he it is who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. Judas, not Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it that you will manifest yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered him, If a man love me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. He who does not love me does not keep my words, and the words which you hear is not mine, but the Father's who sent me. These things I have spoken to you while I am still with you. But the Counselor, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You heard me say to you, I go away and I will come to you. If you loved me, you would have rejoiced because I go to the Father, for my Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it takes place, so that when it does take place, you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no power over me, but I do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. Rise, let us go hence. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch of mine that bears no fruit, he takes away, and every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. You are already made clean by the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself, unless it abides in the vine, neither can you, unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me, and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me you can do nothing. If a man does not abide in me, he is cast forth as a branch and withers, and the branches are gathered, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ask whatever you will, it shall be done for you. By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, and so prove to be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends, if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends, for all that I have heard from my Father I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should abide, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. This I command you, to love one another. If the world hates you, Know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love its own. But because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the word that I said to you, a servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you. If they kept my word, they would keep yours also. But all this they will do to you for my name's sake, because they do not know him who sent me. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would not have sinned. But now they have no excuse for their sin. He who hates me hates my father also. If I had not done among them the works which no one else did, they would not have sinned. But now they have seen and hated both me and my father. It is to fulfill the word that is written in their law. They hated me without a cause. But when the counselor comes, whom I will send to you from the father, even the Spirit of Truth, who proceeds from the Father, he will bear witness to me, and you are also witnesses, because you have been with me from the beginning. I have said all this to you, to keep you from falling away. They will put you out of the synagogues. Indeed, the hour is coming when whoever kills you will think he is offering service to God. 
and they will do this because they have not, not known the Father nor me. But I have said these things to you that when their hour comes, you may remember that I told them to you. I did not say these things to you from the beginning because I was with you. But now I am going to him who sent me. Yet none of you ask me, where are you going? But because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your hearts. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the counselor will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world concerning sin and righteousness and judgment, concerning sin, because they do not believe in me, concerning righteousness, because I go to the Father, and you will see me no more, concerning judgment, because the ruler of this world is judged. I have yet many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth, for he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me, for he will take what is mine and declare it to you. And that all that the Father has is mine. Therefore, I said, he will take what is mine and declare it to you. A little while and you will see me no more. Again, a little while and you will see me, because I go to the Father. Some of his disciples said to one another, What is this that he says to us? A little while and you will not see me. And again, a little while and you will see me. And because I go to the Father, they said, What does he mean by a, a little while? We do not know what he means. Jesus knew that they wanted to ask him. So he said to them, Is this what you are asking yourselves, what I meant by saying, A little while, and you will not see me, and again a little while, and you will see me? Truly, truly, I say to you, you will weep and lament, but the world will rejoice. You will be sorrowful but your sorrow will be turned into joy. When a woman is in travail, she has sorrow because her hour has come. But when she is delivered of the child, she no longer remembers her anguish for joy that a child is born into the world. So you will have sorrow now, but I will see you again and your hearts will rejoice and no one will take your joy from you. In that day, you will ask nothing of me. Truly, truly, I say to you, if you ask anything of the Father, he will give it to you in my name. Heretofore you have asked nothing in my name. Ask, and you will receive, that your joy may be full. I have said this to you in figures. The hour is coming when I shall no longer speak to you in figures, but show you plainly of the Father. In that day you will ask in my name, and I do not say to you that I will pray the Father for you, for the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me and have believed that I came from God. I came from the Father and have come into the world. Again, I am leaving the world and going to the Father. His disciples said, Ah, oh, now you are speaking plainly, not in any figure. Now we know that you know all things and need none to question you. By this we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you now believe? The hour is coming, indeed it has come, when you will be scattered every man to his own and you will leave me alone. Yet I am not alone, for the Father is with me. I have said this to you, that in me you may have peace. The, in the world you have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. When Jesus had spoken these words, he lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify thy Son, that thy Son may glorify thee, since thou hast given him power over all flesh, to give eternal life to all whom thou hast given him. And this is eternal life, that they may know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. I glorify thee on earth, and having accomplished the work which thou gavest me to do. And now, Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. I have manifested my name to the man whom thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them to me, and they have kept my word. Now they know that everything that thou hast given me is from thee, for I have given them the words which thou gavest me. And they have received them, and know in truth that I came from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. I am praying for them. I am not praying for the world, but for those whom thou hast given me, for they are my, thine, and mine are thine, 
and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to thee. Holy Father, keep them in thy name, which thou hast given me, that they may be one even as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name, which thou hast given me. I have guarded them, that none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, and the world has hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I do not pray that thou shouldst take them out of the world, but thou shouldst keep them from the evil one. For they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them in the truth. Thy word is truth. As thou didst send me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. And for their sake I sanctify myself, that they also may be sanctified in truth. I do not pray for these only, but also for those who believe in me through their word, that they may all be one, even as thou, Father, art in me and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, so that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. The glory which thou hast given me I have given to them, that they may be one even as we are one, I in them and thou in me, that they may become perfectly one, so that the world may know that thou hast sent me, and has loved them even as thou hast loved me. Father, I desire that they also, whom thou hast given to me, may be with me where I am, to behold my glory, which thou hast given me. For thou loved me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, the world has not known thee, but I have known thee, and these know that thou hast sent me. I made known to them thy name, and I will make it known, and the love with which thou hast lovest me may be in them and I in them. When Jesus had spoken these words, he went forth with his disciples across the Kidron Valley, where there was a garden which he and his disciples entered. Glory to thy long suffering, Lord, glory to thee. The rulers of the nations took counsel against the Lord and against his anointed. Words contrary to the law they contrived against me. Wherefore, Lord, O Lord, forsake me not. Let us direct our senses undefiled towards Christ. <clears throat> and as, as his lovers, let us sacrifice ourselves for him. Nor be choked like Judas with worldly anxieties. Let us contrary wise cry in our chambers. O Father who art in heaven, deliver us from evil. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Thou who knewest not wedlock, hast given birth while still a virgin, and this remain a virgin. Wherefore, O Mary the Theotokos, the mother without groom, beseech Christ our God to save us. Towards the law transgressing scribes, Judas hastened, saying, What will you give me, and I will deliver him to you? Invisibly thou hast stood, O Christ, among the conspirators being plotted against. Wherefore, thou who knowest the contents of our hearts, have pity on our souls. Let us serve the Lord with mercy like Mary at supper. Let us not be possessed of the love of silver like Judas, that we may be always with Christ. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto you, ages of ages. Amen. Cease not, O Virgin, to implore him whom thou didst bear ineffably, that he may save from tribulations those who take refuge in thee, for he is the lover of mankind. The Hebrew youths, O Lord, for the resurrection of Lazarus, hailed thee, saying, Hosanna, O lover of mankind. But law-breaking Judas refused to understand. Thou didst foretell it at thy supper, O Christ God, and saidest to thy disciples, Verily one of you shall betray me. But law-breaking Judas refused to understand. When John asked thee, O Lord, who shall betray thee, thou didst point, to, point him out to him by means of the bread, but the law-breaking Judas refused to understand. The Jews sought thy death with thirty pieces of silver in a kiss of deceit, but the law-breaking Judas refused to understand. At the washing of thy disciples, O Christ God, thou didst urge them, saying, As ye have seen, so do ye. But the law but the law-breaking Judas refused to understand. Thou didst tell thy disciples, O God, watch and pray, lest ye be tempted. 
but the law-breaking Judas refused to understand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Deliver thy servant from tribulation of Theotokos, for we all, after God, seek refuge in thee, since thou art an impregnable fortress and an intercessor. When thou didst tell the disciples at the supper, and knewest the intent of Judas to betray, thou didst reproach him for it, knowing all the while that he was beyond redemption, but preferring to make known to all that thou was betrayed of thine own will, so that thou might snatch the world from the stranger. Wherefore, O long suffering one, glory be to thee. And that we may be accounted <laughs> to hear the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Wisdom attend, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to thy spirit. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory. To thee. Let us attend. At that time, Jesus went forth with his disciples across the Kidron Valley, where there was a garden, which he and his disciples entered. Now Judas, who betrayed him, also knew the place, for Jesus often met there with his disciples. Now Judas, procuring a band of soldiers and some officers from the chief priests and the Pharisees, went there with lanterns and torches and weapons. Then Jesus, knowing all that was to befall him, came forward and said to them, Whom do you seek? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said to them, I am he. Judas, who betrayed him, was standing with them. When Jesus said to them, I am he, they drew back and fell to the ground. Again Jesus asked them, Whom do you seek? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus answered, I told you that I am he. So if you seek me, let these men go. This was to fulfill the word which he had spoken. Of those whom thou gavest me, I lost not one. Then Simon Peter, having a sword, drew it and struck the high priest's servant's servant and cut off his right ear. The servant's name was Malchus. Jesus said to Peter, put your sword into its sheath. Shall I not drink the cup which the Father has given me? So the band of soldiers and their captain and the officers of the Jews seized Jesus and bound him. First they led him to Annas, for he was the father-in-law of Caiaphas, who was high priest that year. It was Caiaphas who had given counsel to the Jews that it was expedient that one man should die for the people. Simon Peter followed Jesus, and so did another disciple. As this disciple was known to the high priest, he entered the court of the high priest along with Jesus, while Peter stood outside at the door. So the other disciple, who was known to the high priest, went out and spoke to the maid who kept the door and brought Peter in. The maid who kept the door said to Peter, Are not you also one of this man's disciples? Peter said, I am not. Now the servants and officers had made a charcoal fire because it was cold, and they were warming themselves. Peter also was with them, standing and warming himself. The high priest then questioned Jesus about his disciples and his teaching. Jesus answered him, I have spoken openly to the world. I have always taught in synagogue and in the temple where all Jews come together. I have said nothing secretly. Why do you ask me? Ask those who have heard me what I said to them. They know what I said. When Jesus had said this, one of the officers standing by struck him with his hand, saying, is that how you answer the high priest? Jesus answered him, If I have spoken wrongly, bear witness to the wrong. But if I have spoken rightly, why do you strike me? 
Annas then sent him bound to Caiaphas, the high priest. Now Simon Peter was standing and warming himself. They said to him, Are you not also one of his disciples? He denied it and said, I am not. One of, the, one of the servants of the high priest, a kinsman of the man whose ear Peter had cut off, asked, Did I not see you in the garden with him? Peter again denied it, and at once the cock crowed. Then they led Jesus from Caiaphas to the praetorium. It was early. They themselves did not enter the praetorium so that they might not be defiled, but might eat the Passover. Glory to thy long-suffering, Lord, glory to thee. Today Judas leaveth the master and followeth after Satan. He darkened one was blinded by the suffering of the love of silver and fell from the light. For how can he see who sold the star for thirty pieces of silver? But he who suffered for our sake hath shone forth upon us. Wherefore, let us hail him, saying, O thou who didst suffer in pity for mankind, glory be to thee. Today doth Judas adulterate the worship of God and become estranged from the gift. He was a disciple and became a betrayer. He covered, he covered deceit with the semblance of friendship and preferred thirty pieces of silver to the love of the master, becoming a guide to the, to the council of law transgressors. But having Christ as our salvation, let us glorify him. O brethren, let us take possession of brotherly love as brethren of Christ, not mercilessness towards our neighbors, lest we be condemned as that merciless servant for the sake of money, nor repent like Judas when such repentance availeth us not. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto you ages of ages. Amen. Glorious things have been spoken of thee everywhere, O Mary. Theotokos, who didst give birth in the flesh without wedlock to the Creator of all, O all praised. The disciple bargained over the price of the master, selling the Lord for thirty pieces of silver. And with a deceitful kiss, he delivered him to those who are without law to kill him. Today the Creator of heaven and earth said to his disciples, The hour draweth near, and Judas my betrayer approacheth. Wherefore, let no one deny me when he seeth me on the cross between two thieves. For as man I shall suffer and save those who believe in me, for I am the lover of mankind. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto you ages of ages. Amen. O thou who in the last days didst conceive ineffably, and didst give birth to thy Creator, save, O Virgin, those who magnify thee. Today Judas watcheth the night to deliver the eternal Lord, the Savior of the world, who satisfied the multitudes with five loaves. Today that lawless one denieth his master. A disciple he was, yet delivered the master, selling him for silver, selling for silver him who fed man with manna. Today the Jews nail on the cross him who did cleave the sea with a rod and made them to pass through the wilderness. Today they pierce with a spear the side of him who scourged Egypt with curses for their sake and will give him bitterness to drink who rained down manna for their nourishment. When thou camest to thy suffering willingly, O Lord, thou didst cry out to thy disciples, if ye cannot watch me with with me one hour, why then promise me ye that ye would die for me? Rather see ye how Judah sleepeth not, but hasten to deliver me to those who disobey the law. Arise and pray, and let no one deny me when he seeth me on the cross. Wherefore, a long-suffering one, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Theotokos, who didst hold in thy womb him whom the heavens hold not, Rejoice, O virgin, whom the prophets preached, for from whom Emmanuel shone forth upon us. Rejoice, O mother of Christ God. What caused thee, O Judas, to betray the Savior? Did he set thee aside from the disciples? Did he And his 
that we may be accounted worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Wisdom attend, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to thy spirit. The reading of the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Lord, to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Let us attend. At that time, the soldiers seized Jesus and led him to Caiaphas, the high priest, where the scribes and the elders had gathered. But Peter followed him at a distance, as far as the courtyard of the high priest, and going inside, he sat with the guards to see the end. Now the chief priests and the whole council sought false testimony against Jesus that they might put him to death, but they found none, though many false witnesses came forward. At last two came forward and said, This fellow said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and to build it in three days. And the high priest stood up and said, Have you no answer to make? What is it that these men testify against you? But Jesus was silent. And the high priest said to him, I adjure you by the living God, Tell us if you are the Christ, the Son of God. Jesus said to him, You have said so. But I tell you hereafter, you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of power and the coming on the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his robes and said, He has uttered blasphemy. Why do we still need witnesses? You have heard his, test you have heard his blasphemy. What is your judgment? And they answered, He deserves death. Then they spat in his face and struck him and slapped him down, saying, Prophesy to us, you Christ, who is it that struck you? Now Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard, and a maid came up to him and said, You are also with Jesus, the Galilean. But he denied it before them all, saying, I do not know what you mean. And when Anna went out to the porch, another maid saw him and said to the bystanders, this man was with Jesus of Nazareth. And again, Peter denied it with an oath. I do not know the man. After a little while, the bystanders came up to Peter and said, Certainly you are also one of them, for your accent betrays you. Then Peter began to invoke a curse on him to swear, I do not know the man. And immediately the cock crowed, and Peter remembered the saying of Jesus, before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. And Peter went out and wept bitterly. Glory to thy long suffering, Lord. Glory to thee. With patience and forbearance, thou dost cry out, O Lord, to the law violators who laid hold upon thee, saying, If you have stricken the shepherd and dispersed my disciples, those twelve sheep, and I am able to bring more than twelve ranks of angels. But suffer ye long that ye that they may be fulfilled, which I have revealed to you through my prophets of mysteries and hidden things. Wherefore, Lord, glory be to thee. Three times did Peter deny, and perceiving immediately what was told him, he offered thee tears of repentance, saying, God, forgive me and save me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto you ages of ages. Amen. Let us praise the Holy Virgin, for she is a door of salvation, a delightful paradise, and a cloud unto the eternal light. And let us all hail her, saying, Rejoice. Say, you transgressors of the law, what heard ye from our Savior? Is it not that he appointed a law and, a te and the teachings of the prophets? How then did ye think to deliver to Pilate the word, God of God, and deliverer of our souls? They who benefited always by thy gifts, O Christ, were crying, Let him be crucified. And the killers of the righteous sought to free an evildoer in place of the benefactor. But thou wast silent, enduring their arrogance, wishing to suffer and to save us, since thou art the lover of mankind. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. For verily we have no favor for the multitude of our sins. Therefore, O Virgin Theotokos, plead with him who was born of thee. For the pleadings of the mother are greatly effective in winning the favor of the master. 
Turn thou not away, therefore, from the pleadings of sinners, O most venerable, for he who is willing to suffer for our sins is merciful and able to save us. Verily they sent the thirty pieces of silver, the price of him that was valued, whom they of the children of Israel did value. Watch ye and pray, lest ye enter into temptation, for the spirit is ready, but the flesh is weak. Wherefore, watch ye. They gave me gall in my meat, and in thy thirst they gave me vinegar to drink, but thou, O Lord, raise me, that I may reward them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and ever, and unto you ages of ages. Amen. We who are of the Gentiles praise thee, O undefiled Theotokos, for thou didst bear Christ our God, who through thee delivered mankind from the curse. Woeful and sad is it that Judas, who had been thy disciple, plotted thy betrayal in thy very presence. He hate with thee in deceit that unrighteous assassin. Then went unto the priest, saying, What will ye give me to deliver unto you him who loosed the law and profaned the Sabbath? Wherefore, O Lord, glory be to thy long suffering. And that we may be accounted worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Wisdom attend, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to thy spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to thee. At that time, they led Jesus from Caiaphas to the Praetorium. It was early. They themselves did not enter the Praetorium so that they might not be defiled, but might eat the Passover. So Pilate went out to them and said, What accusation do you bring against this man? They answered him, If this man were not an evildoer, we would not have handed him over. Pilate said to them, Take him yourselves and judge him by your own law. The Jews, Jews said to him, It is not lawful for us to put any man to death. This was to fulfill the word which Jesus had spoken to show by what death he was to die. Pilate entered the praetorium again and called Jesus and said to him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, Do you say this of your own accord, or did others say it to you about me? Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? Your own nation and the chief priests have handed you over to me. What is it you have done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my servants would fight that I might not be handed over to the Jews. But my kingdom is not of the world. Pilate said to them, So you are a king. Jesus answered, You say that I am a king. For this I was born, and for this I have come into the world, to bear witness to the truth. Everyone who is of the truth hears my voice. Pilate said to him, What is truth? After Pilate had said this, he went out to the Jews again and told them, I find no crime in him, but you have a custom that I should release one man for you at the Passover. Will you have me release for you the king of the Jews? They cried again, Not this man, but Barabbas. Now Barabbas was a robber. Then Pilate took Jesus and scourged him, and the soldiers plaited a crown of thorns and put it on his head and arrayed him in a purple robe. They came up to him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews, and struck him with their hands. Pilate went out again and said to them, See, I am bringing him out to you, that you may know that I find no crime in him. So Jesus came out, wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe. Pilate said to them, Behold the man. When the chief priests and the officers saw him, they cried out, Crucify him, crucify him. Pilate said to them, Take him yourselves and crucify him, for I find no crime in him. The Jews answered him, We have a law, 
and by our law he ought to die, because he has made himself the Son of God. When Pilate heard these words, he was the more afraid. He entered the praetorium again and said to Jesus, Where are you from? But Jesus gave no answer. Pilate therefore said to him, Will you not speak to me? Do you not know that I have power to crucify you and power to release you? Jesus answered him, You would have no power over me unless it had been given you from above. Therefore, he who delivered me to you has the greater sin. Upon this, Pilate sought to release him. But the Jews cried out, If you release this man, you are not Caesar's friend. Everyone who makes himself a king speaks against Caesar. When Pilate heard these words, he brought Jesus out and sat down on the judgment seat at a place called the pavement, and in Hebrew, Gabbatha. Now it was the day of preparation of the Passover. It was about the sixth hour. Pilate said to the Jews, Behold your king. They cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate said to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king but Caesar. Then he handed Jesus over to them to be crucified. Glory to thy long suffering, Lord. Glory to thee. He that putteth on light like a robe standeth naked in his trial, accepting a blow on his cheek from the hands that he created. And the Lord of glory was nailed to the cross by that law transgressing people. Then was the veil of the temple rent, and the sun was darkened, unable to see, humiliated the God before whom I'll tremble. Wherefore, I let us worship him. Verily the disciple denied him like an ingrate, and the thief cried out, saying, Remember me, Lord, in thy kingdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O thou who dost will to receive from the virgin a body for thy servant's sake, grant peace to the world that we may glorify thee in unison, O Lord, and lover of mankind. In place of the good things that thou didst for the Hebrew people of Christ, they condemn thee to be crucified, giving thee vinegar and gall to drink. But thou, O Lord, render to them according to their deeds, for they understood not thy condescension. The Hebrew people of Christ was not satisfied to deliver thee up, but whilst so doing they shook their heads, heaping upon thee ridicule and reproach. But thou, O Lord, reward them according to their deeds, for they ridiculed thee falsely. Neither the earth in its quaking, the rocks when they were split, the veil of the temple, nor the rising from the dead could convince the Jews. But thou, O Lord, reward them according to their deeds, for they ridiculed thee falsely. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Verily we have known that from thee God was incarnate, O Virgin Theotoko, so thou who alone art undefiled and alone blessed. Wherefore we ceaselessly praise and magnify thee. Thus saith the Lord to the Jews, My people, what have I done unto thee? And wherewith have I harmed thee? Thy blind have I lighted, thy lepers I have cleansed, and the man on his couch I have raised. O my people, what have I done unto thee, and wherewith hast thou rewarded me? Instead of manna, gall, and in place of water, vinegar, and instead of loving me, thou didst nail me to the cross. I can endure no more. I will call the Gentiles, and they shall glorify me with the Father and the Spirit, and I will grant them everlasting life. Today the veil of the temple is rent as a reproach to those, those transgressors of the law, and the sun hideth its rays at seeing thy master crucified. Ye Jews and Pharisees who lay down the law for Israel, verily the assembly of the disciples cry out to you, Behold the temple which ye destroyed. Behold the Lamb whom ye crucified. Ye delivered him to the grave, but he arose by his own power. Do not err, O Jews, for it is he who saved you in the sea and nourished you in the wilderness. He is the life, the light, and the peace of the world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Hail, O gate of the King of glory, through which the highest alone did enter, preserving thee sealed for our salvation. When thou didst stand before Caiaphas, O God of judgment, and was delivered to Pilate, the heavenly powers trembled for fear. Then upon a tree thou wast raised between two thieves, and counted among the wicked, O innocent one, to save mankind, wherefore, O Lord, 
count it worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Praise number 10, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to thy spirit. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Let us attend. At that time, when Judas, his betrayer, saw that Jesus was condemned, he felt regret and brought back the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and the elders, saying, I have sinned in betraying innocent blood. They said, What is that to us? See to it yourself. And throwing down the pieces of silver in the temple, he departed, and he went and hanged himself. But the chief priests, taking the pieces of silver, said, it is not lawful to put them into the treasury since they are blood money. So they took counsel and bought with them the potter's field to bury strangers in. Therefore that field has been called the field of blood to this day. Then was fulfilled what had been spoken by the prophet Jeremiah saying, and they took the 30 pieces of silver, the price of him who was valued, who was valued by the sons of Israel and they gave them for the potter's field, as the Lord directed me. Now Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said, You have said so. But when he was accused by the chief priests and elders, he made no answer. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many things they testify against you? But Jesus gave him no answer, not even to a single charge so that the governor wondered greatly. Now at the feast, the governor was accustomed to release for the crowd any one prisoner whom they wanted. And they had then a notorious prisoner called Barabbas. So when they had gathered, Pilate said to them, whom do you want me to release for you, Barabbas or Jesus who is called Christ? For he knew that it was out of envy that they had delivered him up. Besides, while he was sitting on the judgment seat, his wife sent word to him, Have nothing to do with that righteous man, for I have suffered much over him today in a dream. Now the chief priests and the elders persuaded the people to ask for Barabbas and destroy Jesus. The governor again said to them, Which of the two do you want me to release for you? And they said, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, then what shall I do with Jesus, who is called Christ? They all said, Let him be crucified. And Pilate said, Why, what evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Let him be crucified. So when Pilate saw that he was gaining nothing, but rather that a riot was beginning, he took water and washed his hands before the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this righteous man's blood. See to it yourselves. And all the people answered, His blood be on us and on our children. Then Pilate released for them Barabbas, and having scourged Jesus, delivered him to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the praetorium, and they gathered, gathered the whole battalion before him, and they stripped him and put a scarlet robe upon him, and plating a crown of thorns, they put it on his head and put a reed in his right hand. And kneeling before him, they mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! And they spat upon him and took the reed and struck him on the head. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the robe and put his own clothes on him and led him away to crucify him. As they went out, they came upon a man of Cyrene, Simon by name. This man they compelled to carry the cross of Jesus. Glory to thy long suffering, Lord, glory to thee. The Jewish rabble, O Lord, sought from Pilate to crucify thee, and though finding no cause against thee, it freed Barabbas, who was under guilt. But thee, O righteous one, they did condemn, becoming heirs to the cruel crime of murder. But thou, O Lord, give them their reward, for they conspired against thee in vain. 
Christ, who is the power of God and the wisdom of God, before whom all, tre all tremble and whom all dread, and whom every tongue praiseth, verily the priest smote and gave him gall to drink. He consented to undergo all kinds of suffering, desiring to save us from our iniquities with his blood, for he is the lover of mankind. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Theotokos, who by a word did this give birth to the Creator himself ineffably, implore him to save our souls. O Lord, who didst take as companion the thief who had polluted his hands with blood, number us too with him, since thou art good and the lover of mankind. The thief, still on his cross, uttered a little song, whereupon he found great faith and was saved by a single glance. First he opened the doors of paradise, and then he entered in. O thou who didst accept his repentance, O Lord, glory be to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Hail thou who didst receive from the angel the joy of the world. Rejoice thou who didst give birth to thy Lord and Creator. Hail thou who was, who was considered worthy to become mother to Christ God. <clears throat> Today he is suspended on a tree who suspended the earth over the waters.
shall not feast like the Jews, for our Passover, Christ God, hath been slain for our sake. But let us purify ourselves of every defilement, and with purity beseech him, saying, Rise, Lord, and save us, for thou art the lover of mankind. Thy cross, O Lord, is life and resurrection for thy people, and therein is our trust. And thee, our God, who was crucified, do we praise. Have mercy upon us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. She who gave thee birth, O Christ, seeing thee on the cross, shouted, saying, What strange mystery do I behold, O my Son? How hast thou died, elevated in the body of a tree, O thou who givest and grantest life? <clears throat> thou didst redeem us, O our Savior, from the curse of the law, with thy precious blood, when thou wast nailed to the cross, and spear pierced with a spear, bearing deathlessness, for mankind, glory to thee. And that we may be accounted worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Wisdom attend, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to thy spirit. The reading of the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Let us attend. At that time, the soldiers led Jesus away inside the palace that is the Praetorium, and they called together the whole battalion, and they clothed him in a purple cloak, and plaiting a crown of thorns, they put it on him, and they began to salute him, Hail, King of the Jews! And they struck his head with a reed, and they spat upon him, and they knelt down in homage. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the purple cloak and put his own clothes on him, and they led him out to crucify him. And they compelled the passerby, Simon of Cyrene, who was coming in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry the cross of Jesus. And they brought Jesus to the place called Galgatha, which means the place of a skull. And they offered him wine mingled with myrrh, but he did not take it. And they crucified him and divided his garments among them casting lots for them to decide what each should take. And it was the third hour when they crucified him. And the inscription of the charge against him read, The King of the Jews. And with him they crucified two robbers, one on his right and one on his left. And the scripture was fulfilled, which says, He was reckoned with the transgressors. And those who passed by derided him, wagging their heads, saying, Aha! You who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself and come down from the cross. And so also the chief priests mocked him one to another with the scribe, saying, He saved others, he could not save himself. Let the Christ, the King of Israel, come down now from the cross, that we may see and believe. Glory to thy long suffering, Lord, glory to thee. Remember us, O Lord, when thou comest into thy kingdom. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn. For they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Because of a tree, Adam was estranged from paradise, and the thief because of the tree of the cross abode in paradise. For the former in tasting disobeyed the commandments of the Creator. But the latter who was crucified with thee confessed, admitting to thee that thou art the hidden God. Wherefore, O Savior, remember him and us in thy kingdom. Blessed are they that do hunger and thirst for righteousness' sake, for they shall be filled. 
the law transgressors verily did buy the ordainer of the law from a disciple, and as a lawbreaker they brought, brought him before Pilate, crying out that, that he who gave them manna in the wilderness be crucified. But we, emulating the righteous, be cry out in faith, remember him and us, O Savior, in thy kingdom. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. The assembly of the Jews, that wicked God attacking nation, madly cried to Pilate, saying, Crucify Christ the innocent, pleading that Barabbas be rather released. But we, in the voice of the grateful thief, remember him and us, O Savior, in thy kingdom. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. The life-bearing side, O Christ, overfloweth like a spring from Eden, watering thy church as a paradise endowed with speech, and hence divideth the glad tidings into four gospels, as into four heads, watering the world, gladdening, gladdening creation, and teaching the Gentiles to adore thy kingdom in faith. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Thou was crucified, O Christ, for my sake, that thou mightest pour forth salvation for me. And thy side was pierced with a spear, that it might cause rivers of life to flow in me. Thou wast fastened, fastened with the nails, and so realizing the depth of thy passion and height of thy might, I will cry unto thee, glory to thy passion and to thy crucifixion, O giver, O life-giving Savior. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. The whole creation of Christ beholding thy crucifixion tremble. The foundations of the earth were shaken for the dread of thy might. The two luminaries went into hiding. The veil of the temple was rent, the mountains quaked, and the rocks burst asunder. As the believing thief cried with us unto thee, O Savior, remember me. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you, and, she, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Thou hast torn with the spear, O Lord, the handwriting of ordinances that were against us, and thou wast numbered among the dead, biting, them, biting there the usurper, and delivering all from the bonds of death by their resurrection, by which we have been enlightened. Wherefore we cry unto thee, O lover of mankind, remember us in thy kingdom. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. O Lord, who wast elevated on the cross, and who, being God, loosed the bonds of death and blotted out the handwriting of the ordinance against us, grant us and the thief his grant us and the thief his repentance, O Thou, who art alone the lover of mankind. Us who worship Thee in faith, O Christ our God, in who cry to Thee, remember him and us in Thy kingdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Come, all ye believers, let us with one mind beseech, glorifying as is meet the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the one Godhead in the three persons, permanent without confusion, simple, indivisible, and unapproachable, through whom we escape the ire of punishment. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. We offer thee for intercession, O most merciful Christ, Lord, thy mother, the true virgin, who without seed gave thee birth in the body, and remained without corruption after her birth giving, thou, that thou mightest forgive the transgressions of those who cry to thee constantly. Remember him and us, O Savior, in <clears throat> thy kingdom. They parted my garments among them, and upon my vestures they cast lots. They parted my garments among them, and upon my vestures they cast lots. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? They parted my garment among them, and upon my vesture they cast lots. And 
that we may be accounted worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Wisdom attend, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to thy spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Let us attend. At that time, the soldiers led Jesus to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of a skull. And they offered him wine to drink mingled with gall. But when he tasted it, he would not drink it. And when they had crucified him, they divided his garments among them by casting lots, that what was spoken by the prophet might be fulfilled. They parted my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. Then they sat down and kept watch over him there, and over his head they put the charge against him, which read, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Then two robbers were crucified with him, one on the right and one on the left. And those who passed by derided him, wagging their heads and saying, You who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. If you are the Son of God, come down from the cross. So also the chief priests, with the scribes and the elders, mocked him, saying, he saved others, he cannot save himself. If he is the king of Israel, let him come down now from the cross, and we will believe in him. He trusts in God, let God deliver him now if he desires him. For he said, I am the son of God. And the robbers who were crucified with him also reviled him in the same way. Now from the sixth hour there was darkness all over the land until the ninth hour. And at about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, that is, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And some of the bystanders, hearing it, said, This man is calling for Elijah. And one of them at once ran and took a sponge, filled it with vinegar, and put it on a reed, and gave it to him to drink. But the others said, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. And Jesus cried again with a loud voice, and gave up the spirit. And behold, the curtain of the temple was torn in two, from top to bottom, and the earth shook, and the rocks were split, the tombs were opened, and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. And coming out of the tombs after his resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many. When the centurion and those who were with him, keeping watch over Jesus, saw the earthquake and what took place, <clears throat> they were filled with awe and said, Truly this was the Son of God. Glory to thy long-suffering Lord, glory to thee. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgression and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned and done this evil in your sight, that you may be found just when you speak and blameless when you judge. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive. Behold, you desire truth in the inward part, and the hidden part you will make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Make me to hear sounds of joy and gladness, that the bones you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquity. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me by your generous spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall be converted to you. Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. For you do not desire sacrifice, or else I would give it. You do not delight in burnt offering. Sacrifices to God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. These, O God, you will not despise. Do good in your good pleasure to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. And you shall be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, with burnt offering and whole burnt offering. Then they shall offer bullocks upon thine altar. And that we may be accounted worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, 
Let us pray to the Lord God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Wisdom attend, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to thy spirit. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Let us attend. At that time, two others also, who were criminals, were led away to be put to death with Jesus. And when they came to the place which is called the Skull, there they crucified him and the criminals, one on the right and one on the left. And Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they cast lots to divide his garments. And the people who stood by watching and the rulers scoffed at him, saying, He saved others. Let him save himself, if he is the Christ, the chosen of God. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him vinegar and saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him in letters of Greek and Latin and Hebrew. This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who were hanged railed at him, saying, If you are the Christ, save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we are receiving the due reward of our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. And he said to Jesus, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said to him, truly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. It was now about the sixth hour, and there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour, while the sun's light failed, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then Jesus, crying with a loud voice, said, Father, into thy hands I commit my spirit. And having said this, he gave up the spirit. Now when the centurion saw what had taken place, he glorified God and said, Certainly this was a righteous man. And all the multitude who assembled to see the sight, when they saw what had taken place, returned, beating their breasts. And all his acquaintances and the women who had followed him from Galilee stood at a distance and saw these things. Glory to thy long-suffering Lord, glory to thee. Early will I seek thee, O word of God, for who of thy compassion did empty thy being many that unto suffering without change in substance and without suffering for the sake of the fallen wherefore grant me safety O lover of mankind thy servant so Christ when thou hast Wash thy feet, and they had now become purified by sharing thy dread mystery. Ascended with us from Zion to the great Mount of Olives, praising thee, O lover of mankind. Thou didst say, Behold, my beloved, be not troubled, for now my hour hath come, in which hand shall be laid on me, and I shall be killed at the hands of the lawless wicked, and he shall be all dispersed, and leave me alone. But I shall gather you to preach of me, for I am the lover of mankind. Come, let us all praise him who was crucified for our sakes, to whom Mary, having beheld him upon the tree, said, 
Thou, though thou hast endured crucifixion willingly, thou art still my son and my God. Having beheld her lamb being led to slaughter, Mary the ewe followed him in the company of other women, troubled and crying thus, Where goest thou, my son, and why hastenest thou to finish this course? Is there perchance another wedding in Cana to which thou hastenest now to change the water for them into wine? Shall I go with thee, or shall I rather tarry? Give me a word, nor pass me in silence. O thou who didst keep me undefiled, for thou art still my son and my God. On this great and holy Friday, we celebrate the holy, dread, and saving passion of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. The spittings, blows, and scourges, the curses, cheers, and the wearing of the purple, the rod, sponge, and vinegar, the nails, the spear, and especially the cross and death, which he received willingly for our sakes. We celebrate also the confession of salvation, which the grateful thief made on the cross with him. <clears throat> the divine news exposed the God-contending pillar of wickedness, and the assembly of the wicked ones, roaring at Christ, conspired falsely and studied how to kill him who holdeth life in his grasp, whom all creation doth bless, glorifying me unto all ages. Thou dost say to thy disciples, O Christ, drive away sleep from your eyelids, watch in prayer lest ye fall. And especially thou, O Simon, for the haughty suffereth greater trial. Know that me, O Peter, whom all creation doth bless, glorifying me unto all ages. Truly Peter cried out, saying, No evil word shall pass my lips, O Master, but as one of true loyalty, I will die with thee, even though I'll deny thee. For flesh and blood hath not revealed thee unto me, but the Father, whom all creation blesseth, glorifying him unto all ages. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, and the Lord said, Thou didst, thou dost not comprehend, O man, the deepness of the wisdom and the knowledge divine. Thou hast not fathomed my decrees, for since thou art flesh, but not boastfully, for thou shalt deny me thrice, whom all creation doth bless, glorifying me unto all ages. Both now and ever and unto ages. Amen. O Simon Peter, saith the Lord, thou shalt presently deny all thy convictions, as it hath been said, for a maiden shall suddenly appear and frighten thee. Then shalt thou weep bitterly, but thou shalt find me forgiving, whom all creation doth bless, and glorify unto all ages. We praise thee, we bless thee, and we worship the Lord. The divine news exposed the God-contending pillar of wickedness. And the assembly of the wicked ones, roaring at Christ, conspired falsely, and studied how to kill him who holdeth life in his grasp, whom all creation doth bless, glorifying me unto all ages. Theotokos and mother of the light, let us honor and magnify in song. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who without stain bearest God the word, and are truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. The 
corrupting all jurors to spies, God and the band of the God killing wicked, hasten to thee, O Christ, and led thee away as an unrighteous one, thou creator of all whom we magnify. Be impious for their ignorance of the law and their false study of the sayings of the prophets. Have unjustly led thee like a sheep to slaughter. O Lord of all whom we magnify. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The priests with the scribes, wounded by the evil of their utter envy. Deliver life to the Gentiles to who be killed. The all natural source of life whom we magnify. Both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. They have surrendered thee like so many dogs, O King and smitten thee on the cheeks, questioning thee and bearing witness falsely against thee. And thou hast borne it all and delivered all. <clears throat> more honorable than the cherubim and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim who without stain bearest God the word, and our truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. <coughs> again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. And help us, save us, have mercy upon us. Keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us. Call into remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, never married. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. To the powers of heaven praise thee and unto thee we ascribe glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages
that we may be accounted worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Wisdom attend, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to thy spirit. The reading of the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory <clears throat> to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Let us attend. <clears throat> At that time, standing by the cross of Jesus were his, were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cleopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing near, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her to his own. After the, this, Jesus, knowing that all was now finished, said to fulfill the scripture, I thirst. A bowl full of vinegar stood there. So they put a sponge full of vinegar on hyssop and held it to his mouth. When Jesus had received the vinegar, he said, it is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the spirit. Since it was the day of preparation in order to prevent the bodies from remaining on the cross on the Sabbath, for that Sabbath was a high day, the Jews asked Pilate that their legs might be broken and that they might be taken away. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and of the other who had been crucified with them. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear, and at once there came out blood and water. And he who saw it has borne witness. His testimony is true. And he knows that he tells the truth, that you may also believe. For these things took place, that the scripture might be fulfilled. Not a bone of him shall be broken. And again, another scripture says, they shall look on him whom they have pierced. Glory to thy long-suffering Lord, glory to thee. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord from the heavens. Praise him for his mighty acts, 
Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Every member of thy holy body, O Savior, hath endured humiliation for our sakes, the head with thorns, the face with spittings, the cheeks with blows, the mouth with the taste of vinegar mixed with gall, the ears with blasphemies replete, replete with infidelity, the back with scourges, and the hand with the rod, the extension of the whole body with the cross, the extremities with nails, and the side with the spear. Wherefore, thou who didst suffer for us, and didst deliver us from suffering, condescending to us for thy love of mankind, and raised us, O thou Almighty, have mercy on us. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet, praise him with a psaltery and harp. The whole creation, O Christ, beholding thee crucified, trembled. And the foundations of the earth shook for dead of thy might. For by thine elevation today, the Hebrew race hath perished. And the veil of the temple was rent in twain, the graves were opened, and the dead rose from their tombs as the centurion, beholding this miracle, was frightened. As for thy mother, she stood by, wailing and moaning as mothers do say. How shall I not wail and smite my breast as I see thee naked and elevated on a tree as one condemned? <clears throat> Wherefore, O thou who was crucified, buried, and rose from the dead, glory to thee, O Lord. <clears throat> And let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to thy spirit. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to thee, O Lord. Glory to thee. Let us attend. At that time, Joseph of Arimathea, a respected member of the council, who was himself also looking for the kingdom of God, took courage and went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. 
And Pilate wondered if he were already dead. And summoning the centurion, he asked him whether Jesus was already dead. And when he learned from the centurion that Jesus was dead, he granted the body to Joseph. And he bought a linen shroud, and taking Jesus down, wrapped him in the linen shroud, and laid him in a tomb which had been hewn out of the rock, and rolled a stone against the door of the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Joseph, saw where Jesus was laid. Glory to thy long-suffering Lord, glory to thee. Thine is the glory, O Lord our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory be to God on high, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For Thou only art holy, Thou only art the Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day will I bless Thee, and I will praise Thy name forever, yea, forever and ever. Lord, Thou hast been our refuge in all generations. I said, Be merciful unto me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. Lord, I have fled unto thee. Teach me to do thy will, for that work my God. For with thee is the fountain of life, in thy light shall we see light. O continue thy loving kindness unto them that know thee. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is thy name forever. Amen. Let thy mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Master, make me to understand thy commandments. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, enlighten me with thy precepts. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. O despise not the works of thy hands. To thee belongeth worship, to thee belongeth praise, to thee belongeth glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Have the whole perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Lord, have mercy. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, all things good and profitable for our souls, and peace for the world. Let us ask of the Lord, grant this, O Lord, that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, a Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the fearful judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask of the Lord, grant this, O Lord, all in the remembrance are all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life anew, Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. For thou art the God of mercies and of bounties and of love toward mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all. And to thy spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. To thee, O Lord. For thine it is to show mercy and to save us, O our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. And that we may be accounted worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Wisdom attend, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to thy spirit. 
the reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Let us attend. At that time, Joseph of Arimathea, who was a disciple of Jesus, but secretly for fear of the Jews, asked Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus, and Pilate gave him leave. <clears throat> So he came and took away Jesus' body, Nicodemus also, who had at first come to Jesus by night, came bringing a mixture of myrrh and aloes, about a hundred pounds weight. They took the body of Jesus and bound it in linen cloths with the spices, as is the burial custom of the Jews. Now in the place where he was crucified there was a garden, and in the garden a new tomb where no one had ever been laid. So because of the Jewish day of preparation, as the tomb was close at hand, they laid Jesus there. Glory to thy long suffering, Lord, glory to thee. transfigured at my fear at beholding thee suspended on the cross the sun was darkened the foundations of the earth were troubled and everything suffered with the creator of all wherefore thou who didst endure this willingly for us O Lord glory be to thee. They parted my garments among them, and upon my vestures did they cast lots. Why doth the law trans transgressing people of false worship me meditate in falsehood? Why was he condemned to death, who is the life of all? What great wonder that the Creator of the world hath been delivered into the hands of the wicked, and the lover of mankind hath been elevated on a tree to deliver those who are bound in Hades, who cry, O long-suffering Father, glory be to thee. In my food they gave me gall, and in my thirst did they give me vinegar to drink. Today the blameless virgin has seen the O word suspended on the cross, and her heart was wounded with mourning from parental emotions. She sighed disconsolately from the depth of her soul. She pulled her hair and cheeks bitterly. She smote her breast, crying with copious tears, Woe is me, O my divine Son! Woe is me, O light of the world! Now hast thou disappeared before mine eyes, O Lamb of God! Then the incorporeal hosts were engulfed with trembling crying, O oh, incomprehensible Lord, glory to Thee. As for God, He is our King before the ages. He hath worked <clears throat> salvation in the midst of the earth. O oh, Christ, God of all creation and its Maker, She who without seed gave Thee birth, See <clears throat> Thee suspended on a tree, cried bitterly, Whither hath the beauty of thy countenance dis disappeared, O my son? I cannot endure the sight of thine unjust crucifixion. Arise soon, that I may behold thy third day resurrection from the dead. <laughs> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and 
judges sentences passed on Jesus and he is condemned to crucifixion now doth creation travail at the holding the Lord on the tree but thou who didst suffer in the nature of flesh for my sake O Lord who art God glory be to and that we may be accounted worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Wisdom attend, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to thy spirit. The reading of the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Let us attend. On the next day, that is, after the day of preparation, the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered before Pilate and said, Sir, we remember how that impostor said, while he was still alive, after three days I will rise again. Therefore, order the sepulchre to be made secure until the third day, lest his disciples go and steal him away and tell the people that he is risen from the dead, and the last fraud will be worse than the first. Pilate said to them, You have a guard of soldiers. Go, make it as secure as you can. So they went and made the sepulchre secure by sealing the stone and setting a guard. Glory to thy long suffering, Lord, glory to thee. It is a good thing to confess to the Lord and sing to thy name, O Most High, to show thy mercy in the morning and thy truth by night. Holy, holy God, God, holy might, holy, holy, holy immortal, have, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, guard our iniquities. O holy one, visit and heal our iniquities for thy name's sake. Lord, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. 
Glory Glory to the the Father, and to the the Son, and to the Holy Holy Spirit, Spirit, now and and ever, and to the ages of ages. ages. Amen. Amen. Our Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Thou didst redeem us, O our Savior, from the curse of the law with thy precious blood. When thou wast nailed to the cross and pierced with a spear, bearing deathlessness for mankind, glory to thee. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great goodness. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our Father and Metropolitan Joseph, for our brethren, the priests, deacons, monks, Hierodeacons and monastics and all our brotherhood in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation, pardon and remission of sins for all Orthodox Christians of true worship who live and dwell in this community. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever-memorable founders of this holy church, and for all our fathers and brethren, the Orthodox depart of this life before us, who here and in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bear fruit and do good works in this holy and all venerable church, for those who serve and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await thy great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For thou art a merciful God, and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Wisdom, Master, give the blessing. Christ our God, the existing one, is blessed, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Preserve, O God, the holy Orthodox faith and Orthodox Christians, unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Theococo, save us. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who without corruption bearest God the word, and art truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God, and our whole glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Father, bless. May he who endured spittings and scourgings, the cross and death for our salvation, the salvation of the world, Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all-immaculate and all-blameless Holy Mother, by the might of the precious and life-giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John, of the holy glorious and all laudable apostles, of the holy glorious and right victorious martyrs, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, of Saint Barnabas, the patron and protector of this holy community, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, 
and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for as much as he is good and loveth mankind. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. 